So here is Jordan Peterson wrecking this politician live on TV. And this is another typical uh, politician who thinks that uh, we need to have everybody included, women, everybody uh, included into all of these professions. And Jordan points out the obvious, but this is another typical where they, they think that we need to have more women in, in different areas. We need to have more um, Latinos in different areas versus why don't we just have the right person in the job for whatever you know, whatever uh, job it is, right? Just write the right person. I mean, we see it in sports. We're not putting women into NFL football teams just because there's not enough women in there. No, they're putting the right person in to that, um, you know, to that team. But let's take a look at the video. Uh, Martin Luther King's dream was that there would come a time when um, people would not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. How is today's identity politics consistent with that vision? Jordan Peterson. Right. Well, I don't think it's consistent with that vision at all. I mean, the, the problem I have with identity politics as a, as a mode of philosophical apprehension is that it's predicated on the idea that the appropriate way to classify people is by their group identity in whatever fragmentary formulation that might take in the multiplicity of ways that people can be divided into groups and the, the classical postmodern and I would also say Marxist way of viewing the world even though those two things shouldn't be allowed together they tend to be is that group identity takes priority over individual identity and I think that's precisely the opposite of what Martin Luther King was hoping for and working for and, and I, I think it's unbelievably dangerous because partly because when you when you assume that people should primarily be identified by their group then you can also attribute group guilt to them by their group and then things go downhill very very rapidly and we've had no shortage of, of evidence of that sort of thing happening say throughout the 20th century and the particular groups that one of the things that Martin Luther King I always was understood is that he said Martin Luther King in the 60s said uh, I have a dream that all men are created equal I think he meant all humans he didn't really say you know uh, certain groups are going to be equal. You know, he just said all people, uh, I have a dream that all people are going to be equal. And that's really what he was trying to say, not just groups of people or individuals. You are more concerned about than others. For example, the Liberal Party, as Terry Butler said earlier, is a group. Uh, are there groups that you think are more dangerous? There's a, it is, there isn't a problem with groups. Mm. The problem is with assuming that the fundamental way that you should categorize people is with their group identity. Obviously, we all belong to groups. The issue is whether or not the individual identity is primary and the group identity is secondary, or the group identity is primary and the individual identity is secondary. If you're a proponent, for example, of equality of outcome, of quotas, then you de facto accept the proposition that it's the group identity that is primary, and there's all sorts of dangers that are associated with that that far outweigh whatever good you're likely to do. Mm. Here, or, maybe, that, here it comes. or maybe you just think that representative democracy should be representative. Mm. Maybe you just think that women should be equally represented in the decision making fora of our nation. Maybe that's really just about having proper equality in a body that's meant to be representative. Well, I do believe that women should have. I, I don't understand your question, I well, guess. I guess you <laughs> yeah. don't. That's pretty obvious, unfortunately. Well, how about if you phrase it more clearly instead of just insulting mm. me? Look, 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 look at it this way. Let's talk about quotas for a minute. So there's a, a very wide array of jobs that are fundamentally uh, done by men. So, for example... Member of Parliament. 99.9% of sorry, bricklayers. Alex. She's saying that, that Parliament is all men, and she wants to have more women in Parliament because you don't want to have the right people in there doing the job. You want to have more women in there, and Jordan Peterson is going to deflect this pretty good. Stop sledging you now, I promise. Mm -hmm. I, I'm happy to give my minute to Jordan. 99.9% <laughs> uh, .9 of bricklayers are men. Should we have quotas for women? Mm. Is bricklaying representative democracy? That has nothing to do with the question. The question is if, 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 if there's evidence of structural inequality and oppression because women aren't precisely represented at 50% in all professions at all levels, then why don't we have a conversation about having women represented in all professions 
at all levels. Well, we Why do we talk about the C-suite, for example? Why do we talk about politics and positions of power? Why don't well, we talk about it across the board? Okay, we're so we're, let's politics, just pause and... and uh, yeah, but that's because it's power. About, you, you pose a question to Terry Butler, uh, <laughs> go ahead and answer it, then we'll hear from the other panelists. His question to me. Well, yeah, if you'd, about like, bricklayers. If, if you'd like to answer the question about bricklayers. There's nothing wrong with bricklayers. Why there are no of quotas course there's in not. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, typical politicians, they want to have more women in politics, but we don't want to have more bricklayers, women, you know, bricklaying, or, you know, what are other jobs? I mean, think about, uh, let's go to the NFL. I mean, are we going to have more women in the NFL because there's not enough women playing on the field? Uh, you know, in sports, they're trying to include men in there. No, you have to put the right people in the right spot. And that's typically what happens in politics. They think we need to have more women, but we need to have more people in the right spots, more people that understand whatever job they're doing, not just because of their skin or their gender. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below.